There's no award or prize a man could give me. At the end of this race is eternal life, and that's through Christ Jesus. So I'm actually right now to run God race with me. And stop pointing fingers and blaming and start judging and start going to a brother and be like, you know what, you dropped that cross. We need to start picking up that cross for our brother, put it on their back, and tell them to keep going. But we like, we like to judge, church. We like to talk about homosexuals, church. We want to talk about kids killing kids, church. We want to talk about the little girls getting pregnant, church. Instead of encouraging them to do better, we like to point fingers and blame the church. But we need to stop right now. It ends right now. And what we're going to do, we're going to start building this church. And start building and bringing some youth in this church. And let God change them. They call us fishes of men. He says, come follow me and I make you fishes and men. So that means we need to go out there and start getting the souls and bringing them into the kingdom of God. How many of y'all are convicted of Christ right now? I want you to raise your hand and make some noise. See, see, I, I don't know about you, but I don't know what you've been through, but I've been stabbed three times. My neck and my chest and my arm and I almost died. I was in the hospital for a month. My lungs was punching. And through Christ Jesus, I'm here fellowshipping with y'all guys right now. See, see, I, 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 don't, I don't know if there's believers in the church here tonight, but I know a woman that was in the Bible. I know a woman who was bleeding for 12 years. 12 years. And she spent all her money going to doctors and doctors. And through the 12 years, she's getting weaker and weaker. And she see a man named Jesus in the crowd. And she said, I could touch the hem of his garment, that he will make me whole. So I'm telling you right now, I know we can't touch the hem of his garment, but who want to who be in his presence here tonight? Who want to be made whole here tonight? People call me crazy because I'm addicted to Christ. They say, yo, you need to stop getting high in the spirit. You need to stop getting drunk in the spirit. But if y'all calling me crazy, crazy is going to give me to heaven. You might as well call me insane. Depending on you. And how many people are depending on Christ? I don't know. Somebody lost their job. Somebody in here lost their job and they feel like giving up. But I'm telling you, stop depending on a job to make money for you and start believing in Christ to make a way. Somebody here been cheated on and they've and they, and they, and they, they been hurt and they feel bitter that their spouse cheated on them. But I'm here to let you know, stop depending on your husband and your wife to be faithful and start depending on God to make a way for your relationship. Somebody in here going through a, a situation. Somebody going through a situation, they feel like giving up, they feel bitter, they got, they got AIDS or cancer, some type of disease. And then they be going to the doctors just like that woman in the body. But I'm here to let you know, stop depending on the, the, the doctors to give you that positive result. It's to start believing in Christ and make a way for you. And I know you probably better things. We made many mistakes in our life. But you know what? It's time to get it right. I want you to listen. Can you cut it down just a little bit? I know a little girl who got molested. And mama didn't believe her till daddy got arrested. Went to the doctor, had to get tested. Find out daddy's angel was infected. She was only 10 years old. Can dad be so cold? She can't even make her own decisions on her own. Now that right there is the real deal. And the judge only gave him eight years in jail. But eight years later, now he's a changed man. He changed up for you, but no one understands him. But daddy's angel, she believe in forgiveness. And that's the true spirit, the love in Jesus. But too bad she had to die. But at least I know she'd be your right. Because she forgives, and you should forgive too. Because how many times Jesus forgave you? And that's real. Come on. I know you promised better days, so. Do we have a cure for AIDS? Go!